Welcome back to Sussex Farm for episode 7 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's 10.49 and I'm stood out the front of my farmhouse. The thumbnail says big changes and there are big changes. You can probably tell by looking out across the landscape. Um, I was going to put disaster on the thumbnail but I thought that might be a bit melodramatic. Um, I've had to turn the seasons off. That's not going to please a lot of people. And I'll be honest with you, it's not by choice. Um, I know I had comments left way back on one of my Let's Plays when I think I was doing West Coast without and one with and somebody said there's just no point watching videos without seasons on anymore. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the gameplay is the gameplay. The mods you use, the equipment you use, the seasons adds that whole other element of realism with the seasons shifting and all that kind of stuff. Unfortunately, there are some issues on Sussex Farm, which weirdly enough, different people are experiencing at different times. Some people a lot, some people not at all. Some people on standard PS4, some people on PS4 Pro. I, I don't know if Xbox people are suffering any issues at all. And here's the thing, Jim has that kind of, when I did my first look and started the Let's Play, that kind of revolutionary, like he did with Spectacle Island, he's revolutionised it, he's changed the game massively by the things he put in, by the sound effects, by the, you know, the, the aircraft flying overhead and all the stuff that he put in, pushing the limits of what's, what's possible on console especially what's possible on PS4. Again, I'll, I'll say this out loud, I don't play on Xbox. I, I don't know what effects it has on Xbox. Um, and I apologise for that, you know, that's just the way it is, I'm, I'm playing on PS4. Um, so, what's been happening is, there's been lots of comments, lots of feedback left on uh, my YouTube channel, some left on my Facebook page, I know Jim's had a load of comments left on his Facebook page, and we've been chatting over the last week or so, about it. Jim is working tirelessly on trying to resolve the problem. He reduced the amount of trees in the map hugely by about 3,000 trees. He's been changing all different things to try and make things work. He suggested if I had any issues, a lot of people are having issues around the yard with massive frame rate drops. Some people are finding it's very laggy. Some people have had it freeze out completely. If they pause the game or stop and go to do something and come back, it, nothing will respond, the controls won't, the men menu won't. Some people have had game crashes. Uh, a couple of people that have commented to me have said that their message then has come up saying uh, corrupted game data and they've lost all of their, their save game. Um, and I said to Jim, I've been fine. On my PS4 Pro, I haven't had an issue. No frame rate drops that I've been aware of. Sometimes you get a tiny little bit of lag. You're doing some maps um, when you're going past large wooded areas or areas with a lot of bales or whatever it might be. And I hadn't had a single problem. Within 24 hours, I had a game crash. Um, and it just it just kind of froze up on me. Then it went black and then I had the blue screen come up saying there was an error and it gave a code and that kind of stuff. Luckily, it didn't come up saying corrupted uh, save game or corrupted data, which when I played on FS15, it did. I had that happen a lot, and that was my fault, because on FS15, um, when it went from, on when it was on PS3, there was a slot limit. When it went to PS4, there wasn't. And I just bought everything. I just had so much equipment, and I started having the problem, and I didn't really make the correlation between the two. Now I did mention that to a couple of people, maybe it's because you've got too much equipment, maybe, you know, and people are saying, no, I've, I've cut it right back. So, what I will say is this, Jim is working tirelessly to resolve the problem. He's working on different ways of doing it. He sent me a screenshot the other day of this yard, and all of this stuff in the middle was gone. It was fairly bare, I'll, I'll be honest with you, fairly bare. Um, and I think the problem is, Jim's at a tipping point. And he's at a point now where he's trying tirelessly to make the game or the map playable because he wants everybody to enjoy it. But he's at that tipping point where he runs the risk that if he removes too much, it's not going to be the same map, you know. It's, it's just, it'll lose what it's got, you know. 
So I don't know, he is working on it and he is trying to resolve the issue. So he did suggest to me, turn traffic off. That might make a big difference. Um, he then said, it, it seems to be seasons, which is causing the, some of the issues. Um, not seasons itself, the mod itself is fine, but that that ha having seasons running with this map, with maybe some of the things that are installed on it, may, it could be a clash between mods. <coughs> Excuse me. Sometimes it just happens. So... Um, yeah all that aside all of that five minute waffle or whatever i've just been going on about um the upshot of that is i've had to turn the seasons off which is not going to change uh, my let's play i'm still going to be doing my contracts i'm still going to be doing jobs i do when new mods come out i'm going to be trying to get them into the, the, the gameplay um i'm still going to be doing trying to resurrect the Silly P, Silly P Brewery, I, you know, all the things I was doing before I'm still going to do. Um, it just means the seasons won't be on, the colours of the trees won't change, um, there's no planting season, harvesting season, you know, it is what it is, I'm afraid. So I know for a lot of people that's not going to make them happy. Um, and I can't do a lot about that. So what we're going to do, <coughs> to start off with... Um, I have an issue now that because I've changed it, if I go into my menu and scroll across, my animals that had, because it works on, oh, I had it on three day seasons, when you revert back to normal, you go back to productivity rather than uh, health, is it? Um, plus it goes back to a six day cycle, I think it is. Um, so I needed to add feed in. So I've added feed in hay and grass was fine for the sheep pigs the, the pig food that i bought that i put 3900 something liters in storage that's all gone now i've used that and my tmr that i had in storage um that i inherited when i kind of took on took on the farm that's all gone that's all in there now um so the cows have got all that i have nothing of that left so i'm going to have to make some total mixed ration probably going to need to buy some more pig food if i'm going to continue to do the pigs like i said i'm going to only have five um the other option is that i do small fields of each of those crops and then i can feed them normally as you would do which might work i could do that i haven't done that for a while so i could do that um first things first i do need to get a cedar i have given the fent a wash that's been sorted thanks for the comments I know I was getting a lot of wheel slip because this thing being a kind of plow culty plow had a lot of drag on it and that was causing wheel slip and a lot of people said wheel weights front weight twins on the back or twins all round that'll resolve that problem for you thank you very much and I, I don't know why I never do that I, I always kind of forget and I should really so what we'll do Plowing here. Now the other thing it does mean I was going to have to tell. Um, who was it that wanted the, the uh, sugar cane for their sweets? I'll put that up on the screen. Um, it does mean I can do sugar cane now because a lot of people had said you're not going to be able to do sugar cane. You need the Paraguay Geo to run it on an English map. Because obviously it's not designed to run an English map. This map is set up to run sugarcane, it will do sugarcane. So now Seasons is off, I should be able to do sugarcane anyway, without worrying about it. Which is pretty good, it means I can still do it, I can use the sugarcane equipment. But what I'm going to do is take the fence up the hill to the store. Pick up the cedar. Well, I could have just bought it and had it uh, delivered down to the scrapyard, but... Whoa! That was interesting. Kicking the back out on the fence. So I think all my fields now are either ploughed and cultivated, or just ploughed. Because some I ploughed originally, and some I've done with the culture plough. So some are, some are ploughed, some are cultivated, but my fields are ready to go. It does mean, is that seeded? Probably. So all the fields reverted back to a kind of AI state where there are crops in some and not in others and 
like I say, big changes. It's all gone a bit weird. The grass is now growing at whatever rate. I have got a contract um, for... Oh, again, I can't remember who it was for. It's gone out of my head. Um, I was in my head trying to make sure I worked out all the things I needed to say and all the stuff about all the big changes and then forgot to look up the contract names. But anyway, um, somebody needs bales. Oh, anyway, so many grass, so many straw, and I think silage as well. Which does mean now that because there are no seasons on, the grass will just grow in cycles. Which means I should be able to provide those bales for people much easier than if seasons were on. So, like I say, there'll still be gameplay, there'll still be all the stuff going on. I'll still be doing my contracts, still be selling fuel, water to the car wash. Um, I did supply um, all the greenhouses with their water and their manure, so that's all done. Um, I did take a load. Did I take a load of barley? I haven't done yet. Down to Milson's Maltings. I need to do that as well. The seed I'm going to go for, the sewing machine, is going to be... I'm going to go with the uh, Amazon Condor. So let's get that. It does mean for doing sugar beet, I'm going to need to lease or get a second um, seeder. And it does also mean that... Um, Obviously, sugar cane is done with a completely different cedar. That's done with one of these. So I'll have to lease one of these, I think, when I come to do um, sugar cane. But this is going to be a whole interesting thing. I haven't done any of this before. Um, I was going to kind of wait until I did a, did an American map um, and then do sugar cane. But because someone came to me and said, look, can you do this contract for me? I thought, well, you know what? I'll give it a go. Why not? Like I said, maybe it'll be warm enough in Sussex to do sugar cane. I know it's not in real life, but you know, it's all good. So the next job then is to get this filled up and get some seeding underway. Most of my fields are going to be barley <coughs> for obvious reasons and maybe some wheat. Um, I am going to, that big field, field 20, I am going to um, split that, I think, probably still into thirds. I'll do some sugar beet, some sugar cane and some barley. Really must need to move that tanker. Got to do it. Why did the... Do I go past the seed refill point or something? Why did that open? That's weird. <coughs> never mind. I shall pretend it never happened. Now this cedar only requires 270 horsepower. So I think the Optum would probably be alright to pull it. I might, I might as well use the Hulk while I've got it. Make good use of my trial tractor. The loner from Mitch. So I'm thinking is maybe getting some barley underway with this. And then maybe I could think about getting some sugar cane in the ground. Oh no, I need to... No, that's it. Ah, ignore me. I need to get some total mixed rations sorted, don't I? Um, I was thinking of... Um, now I've finished on the Valley of the Old Farm. That's all now being run by a farm manager. I did think oh, I'll just bring over the um, the self-propelled um, feeder uh, mixer. But then I've, I've had a load of stuff brought over from there. So I'm going to buy one here. Um, and I don't think I'll get a self-propelled one. I think I'm going to get a trailed one to start off with so I can build up some money um, and then once I've done that I'll um, I'll probably then upgrade to a self-propelled one for the time being I've only got 19 cows at the moment so I'm all good um, Womble Way has offered me more sheep um, some has offered me cows because they've got a load of cows um, I'll do the I'll do those if I do a contract for people if I help people out 
I'll take them in payment. But I know people have just been saying, I've got spare cows, you can have them. I'm not just going to take them, I'll just, I'd have to do the job for. All that kind of thing. So we'll see. How much is this cost of this? What was that? 5,000. Oh, 5,000 on fertilizer. Okay. Wow. Of course, what I could do... Again, this is just me thinking out loud. This is costing me an absolute fortune for seed and fertilizer. Okay. Um, is what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Rather than split that big field and do thirds of sugar beet, sugar cane, and barley, what I could do is one of these fields. Okay. Point out, this should last a while. I'll say that should last a while. What I could do is this field here, field 6, do that sugar beet. Big pop of seeds. Um, his hickory smoked hams. Wanted sugar beet. Maybe that field would be enough just for sugar beet in front of me. Yeah, that might work. Rather than splitting the other field up. Do a smaller field of just sugar beet. Or a couple of small fields on. So it does change things somewhat. Um, my only concern now, and it's it's because I've, I've I've had to change it to get it to work. My my biggest worry was if I suffered another game crash and it corrupted the data, I would lose my save game entirely, and all the time I put into getting it prepared would have been just gone. Um, but then my other concern was um, if Jim manages to sort the problems out um, I would imagine it's going to be a new save game anyway so what I'm going to have to do really is just bite the bullet now I need to change crop uh, what I'm doing this one barley um, I've just got to bite the bullet and say you know what this let's play is going to be without seasons because if he does change it and he gets it sorted and it is a new save game I'd have to start from the from the beginning again anyway, so it's a bit of a you know. I'd rather play on the map and enjoy the map than than not at all, you know. Does that make sense? Hope it does. But we are seeding. That's a good thing. We are at that point. We can get some seed in the ground. This will stop at the edge here, it does sometimes. Might be good. Like I say, I'm no I'm no map maker. So I, I just bits of information I glean from uh, from Jim when I talk to him about when you place things onto maps and the layers and that kind of stuff. That sometimes certain layers, maybe a layer beneath or whatever if the lake comes over a little way or the fence or something it registers it and then the tractors or vehicles don't like it why is that not going to the side properly that's really good keeps kind of moving that's better right, let's lift that right what I'm going to do is run a strip this way so the worker then, if I do set a worker, it doesn't go up the cliff. It's funny to think that when the game first came out um, this was correct me if I'm wrong this was the biggest cedar wasn't it I'm sure this was the biggest cedar <coughs> it was always a kind of building up enough money and whatever to buy the big um, Amazon condor 
work your way up to a 15 meter cedar now when you look at all the different ones you've got in game and the big bud ones and the modded ones and it's um quite impressive isn't it really okay yeah, I'm just going to turn around here. Shouldn't clip anything. She shouldn't clip anything. Actually, you know what? Maybe it would be better off just going this way, backwards and forwards, I think. So maybe I need to run another strip the other way. We shall see. But we are getting barley in the ground, so it's all good. Milton's, what was it, 500,000 litres they wanted? It was a lot, but it was a lot of barley they wanted. But obviously, again, without seasons on, that's going to be a lot easier to do. Because obviously the crops grow far more rapidly. Actually, I'm going to have to go and change all that, aren't I? Because I've just suddenly realised. Hang on. Plant growth is off. That's not going to help at all, is it? Uh, normal for the moment, I think. I'm glad I checked that, or I probably would have done episode after episode wondering why my crops aren't growing. And I've left a bit. So while field 11 is being seeded, I suddenly remembered another job I was going to do. Oh yeah, the snowblower ended up back over here because that was in the, um, what do you want to call it? It was in the hangar up at the airport. And obviously in the update, because that became a, a wool cell point up in one of the hangars, that was stuck in the back corner. So that had to be recovered back to the scrapyard. That now won't be needed up at the airport for clearing snow in the winter because we won't get snow in the winter because we won't get a winter. But I can still cut the grass and stuff and keep that all sorted out up at the airfield. But what I need to do is borrow this from Adrian. And I need to recover the Hurleyman from the mud, the one that's been stuck there since the very first episode, since the first look. Because what I didn't realise and didn't even dawn on me was that the um, vehicle hours on that are incredibly high and there's hardly any fuel in it so I don't know how far I'll be able to get with it to, to refuel it or fix it or do anything with it um, the problem being because it's got so many hours on it the actual um, overnight costs on it are catastrophic then just suddenly so realise as well that without seasons on I can't repair Oh man, that's so... I might just have to get rid of it, just sell it maybe. But I thought rather than try and do anything with it, if I just drag it out, get it onto the loader and then we can remove it. if we can it 
So I did think about maybe trying to get this actually into the mud, but well, I should have done. Jump out. Let's move that. going to work or not? That doesn't appear to have got into the mud too much. Oh man. Yep. Okay. Okay, right. It's out at last. I should have done that way, way earlier. Look at the state of it. Okay. I think if I just take it up to the store and sell it, maybe someone will have it for scrap or something, I don't know. Possibly. Just had a bit of an idea. While I'm up here, maybe one last hurrah for the Hurleyman. Let's um, load that. While I'm here, let's come in here and under animals, let's buy the trailed one, 16,000 litres. That's 13,000 litres. Okay, that's weird. Right, let's get the trailed one. I hope that still works under the pipes. Should do, we'll see. So let's buy that. That does not leave us with a lot of money. Okay. Didn't think that through. So, last hurrah of the Hurleyman. Let's see. Before it runs out of fuel. Ooh, before I get rid of it. Right now, 
it, I think. Okay. Two thousand seven hundred. Okie dokie. Well, it's gone. No more horrendous overnight costs. I've now got my animal trailer, my uh, feed wagon, which is good. So let's lift that up. Get that back to the uh, yard. Get some TMR made. Oh, we need silage, aren't we? This means I've got to go over to Adrian to get some silage. Okay. I forgot about that. I think I've got a little bit in storage, maybe, but not very much at all. Okay, so maybe I won't get any TMR made, T um, TMR made in this episode. I was hoping I would. Somebody please move this tanker. It's getting in the way of my shortcut. Okay, that's that delivered. So I need to go over to Clumpton Farm. I need to get some silage. So I think I'm going to take the cramp. I think the cramp. And I'm probably going to take the... JCB 435S over there, load up a whole load. Get this back first, I think. See, follow me, it's what I need. I can get them all over there in one go. I'll see you over there in a bit. I've sorted this machinery out, check on my field 11, see how the seedling's going there. Maybe move the seeder. So maybe just barley's going to be in this episode. I need to get all this stuff sorted out first. Then we'll get on to whether we're going to do sugar cane and where we're going to put it and sugar beet and where we're going to put it. And also some money to buy the machinery or lease the machinery to do that. Because I'm incredibly low on funds now. Okay, right. JCB's here. Now we're here with the cramp. I can never remember what what's this one. <coughs> doesn't have it written on it, does it? No, let's check. I just do me head in. I can never remember which one it is. SB something is it? Yep. Yeah. SB thirty sixty. I can never remember that. The SB thirty sixty. I know it's a fifty nine thousand litre trailer. 
Right, we shouldn't need too many loads. It's no different to when I did the manure at the other end over at the livestock market. Let's get the beacon on. Just so people know we're working, they have to be careful around us. Should have gone in from the other side, shouldn't I? Cool. Maybe a little ramp. I suppose that's the difference between the telehandlers. You can get a little bit more height on them. I'm sure I should put in a loading ramp over here somewhere. I'll say I should. I'll speak to Adrian. See if it's alright with Adrian if I put in a loading ramp. Just don't want him getting home one day and find this huge concrete monstrosity. Oh look, Mr. Silly P's been over again building things in my yard it's very kind of him to ask I'm sure he wouldn't mind but it's not the point although as a rule of thumb my children's attitude seems to be to things it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is, is to ask for permission Hmm. <coughs> I think what they mean by that is if they ask for permission I'm likely to say no so it's better for them I think, not easier it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission but I wouldn't do that wouldn't do that to Adrian it's just not on We went for our drink at the pub. Everything's sorted. We're good. Oh, I also did get a comment. Uh, a comment. I was... Messaged. That's the word. By Mr. Wiggums of KJ Wiggums Trucking. Because I made that comment about the uh, Scorpion King and the clock being tampered with. KJ Wiggums' daughters run the haulage side of things. Um, and they've been doing some investigating and apparently they had a worker I use the word had they had a worker who was actually on the fiddle lots of all sorts of nefarious activities going on needless to say he has been fired and is no longer an employee um, Mr Wiggums did apologise profusely offered me compensation and all sorts of stuff and I said you know what the apology is enough the fact that you found the person you should not be held uh, responsible for the actions of one of your employees, so don't worry. But it's good to know that we got to the bottom of it. We couldn't figure out what was happening. That said, I don't know. I don't suppose we're going to get anything else over from the Valley of the Old Farm now. We might do if we need something, but I'm hoping now to make a go of this on my own, and we'll see if we can do this. without any more support from my other farms because they really need to keep themselves going I can't just keep taking resources from my other farms although in real life I guess you would wouldn't you if you were running two or three farms you had them as almost like a farm estate you would move machinery between them you would you know your funds your resources you would I guess it would make more sense to do that wouldn't it it would be pretty harsh to say no you're on your own I'm not helping I think I might have just broken that trailer. I've lost count of how many of these I've done. Probably one more, is it? it takes 59,000, so that's going to be five, mm, just over five loads, isn't it? Or will it be? This JCB seems to get put down wherever it's been used last and then I forget where it is. I 
finally brought it back to the farm and now it needs to be uh, I will leave it here for a bit I think so I might do some more loads I suppose I could have used a conveyor belt why did I think of that mind you I haven't got the oh, I, suppose I, have, I have got the way to buy a conveyor belt or even lease one maybe a conveyor belt next right let's take that off So, in the uh, the movement of equipment, while I was bringing all the stuff over here, I did go and check field 11. Field 11 is now seeded. Barley is in the field 11. I have moved the seeder over to field 26. Again, I'm trying to get my head around the uh, the field numbers. As you start to work your way through a let's play, you do more seeding and more work on the fields. You start to remember the field numbers. Well, this one here is 17. The one by the cows is 11, the one on the other side of the farm is 6, 34 is over by Abbott's farm, I'm sure it's 26, beacon's on, it's not far to go, so I apologise, I didn't say this right at the start because I wanted to say about obviously the changes and what was going to be happening on this let's play it's been a little while that I, I haven't been on here for a little while I did a couple on Oakfield I've got another one to come on Oakfield actually that's kind of almost finished the episode um, it just needs editing and sorting out it looks like over to the left there on field 26 it was field 26 it looks like it's done um, and what I was hoping was that um, there'd be some change I came onto the map, tried it without traffic on, I came onto the map, had a bit of a fill around, then I had the game crash, and I thought, oh, you know, it's a case of, do I wait, do I hold off, do I see what happens, and I really just thought I'm going to have to bite the bullet now, so the, the delay in episodes on here was simply because I was trying to work out the best way around what I was going to do, um, and I really do want to carry on the Let's Play, that's what, you know, I like the map, I like what Jim's done, I like the sound effects, I like, you know, I... Jim's map this is like I said right from the word go this is the map he showed me this is I feel part of this so right we should have everything now in storage so I can actually make some TMR because they're going to get through that fairly quickly what I'm going to do as well I'll take this over here because we never ever seem to do this we should do. Yeah, no, it's a real bodger, that, isn't it? And still am making a real bodger. What is going on? clean out, it's had silage in it if I'm going to use it for crops or anything else, if I do it for manure I suppose I should be making sure it gets a good thorough clean out each and every time okay, it's up down Right, that's that cleaned out, so that can be used for whatever I need to use that for next. Uh, right, let me just check on field 26. The seed is done there. I can probably move it over and do half of field 20. I can get it going on that, can't I? Oh, yes. So, what I'll do now to finish off the episode is actually maybe make a bit of TMR. Who knows? We might actually get round to some. We have come to the end of another episode. Uh, yeah, lots of changes. The new look Sussex Farm for the time being, unfortunately. 
Um, but it is what it is, and we will move forward from here. That's all we can do. Keep moving forward. So, uh, silage. I'm trying to think, what do I need? If it's 16,000, I need 4,000 litres of this. Three, four. Not quite. Four, that's all right. Uh, now I need straw. About 4,000 litres of that. Then the rest will be hay, and I should have a full load, I think. Seven, eight, and then hopefully, oops, if I then put in hay to fill it up, it should change colour, go slightly lighter. There we go, and we've got total mixed ration. Fantastic. So, anyway, hope you've enjoyed the episode. We finally got our first 16,000 litres of total mixed ration, a new batch which now can be stored in here there we go, that side tipping in um, if you have enjoyed it give us a like, if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching